Hey all Dustin Chick here, the Keto Pro, and we're going to talk about what do you eat during the holidays uh, to maximize some fat loss, if at minimum maintain, if that's what your goals are. So you all ready for this? This is super simple, super exciting. And of course, we already showed a video about how to drink this amazing drink as a way to buffer and reduce those temptations and the overindulging. But you remember this is that during the holiday seasons, you got to have fun. You got to celebrate. It's not cheating. You got to celebrate. Now you got to find your own celebration window, how much you can do, how much you can't do. That's going to be individual individually based. But here's the nutritional path I'm going to recommend. Knowing that in the holiday seasons that you're going to tend to lean towards higher carb celebratory at times, if it's Thanksgiving, if it's a holiday party, if it's Christmas, if it's New Year's, or just a weekend away because you love the fiesta of the smell in the air, whatever it is, you're maybe going to be more prone to increasing your carbohydrates. What I want you to do is be okay on those days. Do the same protocol, drink one before and one after your party or your celebration. Drink it for three, two, an extra serving for the three days after, just like the other video showed. But what I want you to do nutritionally is this is the secret that a lot of people mess up is on the days, on the Tuesday, that's just a normal Tuesday, let's tighten up. So if you're going low carb or you're already keto, I want you to tighten up your carbs a little bit less on the days that you don't have a celebration. Go a little bit more on the days that you do not have a celebration so that those days that you have the celebratory fun, you're going to be able to get away with a little bit more. And this works really well. We've done this over now five years and it's worked extremely well. So you're using the ketones as a sandwich between your holiday fun. You're going to have an extra serving for the, the, the next three days. Um, so morning, afternoon, maybe even an evening one if you are if you're, uh, normally have two a day. And then go less carbs on the days that are just your normal days. So you're kind of putting, a, it's like a bank account. You're kind of, you're saving up extra time or extra resources or extra uh, money so you can have those extra carbs and not feel like you're going to carry that extra weight. And this is going to help you drop that extra body fat throughout the holiday seasons and still allow you to have fun. That's the really cool thing is. Now, I'm going to encourage you is that if you are already going low carb, try to do some low carb desserts. I love low carb pumpkin or keto pumpkin. Uh, try low carb apple um, uh, pie. Yes, you can do low carb apple pie. Is it keto? Probably not, but it's going to be lo relatively low carb, which is just you're, you're, you're giving yourself a little bit more flexibility and freedom. So that's what you do nutritionally, but stay tuned. We're going to do an exercise one, but the last thing before I go is that you want to make sure you reboot through the uh, through the holiday season. So uh, December is around the corner here. Uh, rebooting is extremely important. So grab a reboot kit, do the reboot with us in December. You might even do an extra one if you want, so that you can really keep yourself at bay, keep yourself at check. I'm rebooting actually right now, so in November. But here's December reboot. Come reboot with us also. Cheers, y'all, and stay tuned for the fitness. I have a simple recipe for exercise, how you can do that through the holidays to maximize that fat loss or at minimum maintain. Cheers.